Hi, I'm glad you're here. I appreciate your interest in my videos and advice. It's important to have somebody in your life that you can trust. It's also invigorating and inspiring to enjoy an exciting relationship. How can we find both trust and excitement with one person? When we enter into a relationship with another person, we begin to bond with them through shared experiences and frequent communication. As we get to know that person well, we are better able to see their patterns of behavior and understand the way they think. Once we've gotten used to who they are and have learned to love their strengths and forgive their flaws, we want them to stay that way. Like Michelangelo having carved a beautiful statue from a slab of marble, we're quite content with the final product. We've developed trust in this person and surprises or changes would violate that trust. We have become invested in the way our relationship works and we're happy with the status quo. But as they say, the only thing in life that is constant is change. Sometimes you may think, I love my partner, I hope she never changes. Other times you might say, being with the same woman for the rest of my life sounds very dull and predictable. Knowing that change is inevitable should relieve you of the idea that your relationship will grow stale and boring. At the same time, we all hope that as our partner develops, it will happen in a positive, gradual way that gives us time to adjust and grow along with them. Let's explore seven of the reasons that we change over time, or even quite suddenly, and the best way to deal with those changes. Number one, medical or biological causes. There could be causes that we have no control or influence over, such as hormonal imbalances, illness, or injury. Those kinds of changes will usually require additional help from a doctor or mental health professional. The best we can do in that case is to be open to working with the health care provider to learn the information and skills required to best deal with those life-altering changes. Since that's a bridge we may not need to cross, let's move on to more common causes of change. Number two, trauma. Many of us experience changes in ourselves or loved ones after recovering from a challenging or even traumatic event, such as the death of a loved one, a crisis or a catastrophe, a relationship or job ending, or something similar. Traumatic or difficult events don't necessarily lead to incapacitating problems, but can spark tremendous growth and learning. Either way, it is a change that we encounter and ideally will support. Traumatic events may require counseling or group therapy. We should always be open to helping our partner become stronger and healthier so that these events can turn into positive opportunities rather than years of pain. That may mean taking on extra duties to free up time for her to get the help she needs. Think of it as an investment in your partner's health and eventual happiness that will benefit you and your relationship. Number three, small daily changes. Women will age and grow with every passing month, every experience, whether positive or negative, and even when they read or view materials that inform their opinions or behaviors. As an example, I've grown wiser over the years. The things I want for myself have evolved and I have gained self-assurance and insight. Positive experiences such as traveling and teamwork inspire me to want more of them in my life and negative situations where I was taken advantage of or taken for granted taught me what to avoid. As for learning from informative materials, I recently read an article that using the sit-up machines at the gym can easily lead to injury. I immediately stopped using that machine and swapped that exercise out with planks and mountain climbers. These examples explain how everyday occurrences will lead to a woman evolving into a wiser, more confident, and happier person over time. But what if your partner changes in a way that makes you uncomfortable or causes you to lose trust in her? That leads to number four, negative relationships. The people we spend the most time with have the strongest influence on us. 
If your partner has started spending time with somebody who is causing her to change in ways that are negatively impacting her health and safety or the happiness and security of your relationship, then it's up to you to have a productive conversation with her to address the problem. Watch my video, We Need to Talk, to prepare yourself to guide that dialogue. Not only are you her partner, you're also her friend, and that means helping her to recognize when she's entered a negative situation that she will later regret. She may even need your help and advice to turn that situation around and find a better path. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying women need a man to tell them how to behave. However, we all make mistakes and can find ourselves in over our heads and unsure how to fix things. That's why it's important to communicate, observe, and check in with each other frequently. Number five, sexual desires. There could be other changes happening that we're not aware of until we ask. It's important to stay observant and notice body language and tone. If your partner starts to pull away in the middle of something she used to enjoy, especially in the bedroom, it's important to stop what you're doing and talk to her. Ask her, is something wrong? Are you feeling uncomfortable or afraid? Do you like this or would you rather I do something else instead? Often a woman won't tell you in words that she doesn't like what you're doing. She might just withdraw or freeze up. Even though you've done it before and she liked it then, you need to ask. Continue to observe and get to the underlying truth. A woman's body goes through changes all the time and what feels good one day might be a total turnoff the next. She may have recently remembered, read, or watched something that triggered a change in her attitude. And that just means you get to try new things, but it requires that you're open and honest with each other to be sure you're both enjoying the change. Number six, growing self-assurance. Be aware that many times a younger woman in a new relationship will say she wants what you want. She likes what you like, and she's happy when you're happy. Very often, she's covering up what she really wants or likes because it's more important to her that you're satisfied with the relationship and that a strong bond is built between you. As the woman and the relationship mature and evolve, keep asking her what she likes or wants. If it changes, chances are that she's beginning to feel more secure in the relationship and is now opening up to you about who she really is. That is cause for celebration because intimacy and trust has reached a new level in your relationship. Number seven, separation or breakup. In my video on long distance relationships, I describe how most relationships will go through times of separation due to school, work, training, or other related reasons. Being separated by long distance will force changes on us, including becoming more independent, discovering new ways to spend our free time, and developing new relationships. When we get back together, it requires a period of adjustment and patience with one another. Basically, we have to get to know each other all over again. We can't expect to pick up where we left off as if no time has passed. When it comes to breakups, I've heard from a few men that they wonder about old girlfriends or girls they knew in high school or college and if it's possible to rekindle that relationship, taking up where they left off. In their minds, they carry a fixed snapshot of that girl from their past, remembering her as she was, how she looked, and how she behaved in those moments that they knew her. The photo blurs over time, hiding any unhappy details and gives them hope that they could find common ground and fulfillment with her. Breaking up with somebody is traumatic, so we know it happens for solid reasons. Rely on your past good judgment rather than a hazy memory of a special occasion. Keep in mind that she will have changed and grown over the years according to her experiences, who she spent time with, and what lessons she's learned. Although you may share a bit of history as a starting point, she is now a completely different person. It is likely that you would have just as much luck starting a relationship with a stranger. Let her go knowing that your time together is ended and that creating a connection with somebody who lives close by and shares common interests with you would be a much more productive use of your time and efforts. 
When you are committed to a long-term relationship, learning, discovery, and adjustment are required. There is no reason to fear changes that may occur in our partner over time. Mostly, the evolution will be gradual, positive, and natural. Negative changes such as medical difficulties or dangerous situations are not as common and you can equip yourself to deal with them proactively as soon as they occur. Resistance to change suggests a life that is trapped, lacking the curiosity or discovery that make us feel alive. In knowing ourselves and our mates thoroughly and understanding that changes will come and we can learn to adapt, we will find a happy medium of an exciting relationship where we learn and grow together while trusting we have a life partner who will weather the storms of change along with us. Let me know if you've encountered changes in your partner and how you dealt with that by leaving me a comment below. Or tell me if you have a difficult situation in your relationship that you would like help to solve. I'd love to hear from you. Please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work. And take a moment now to like this video with a thumbs up, then subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications when I upload a new video. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. The softer side.